if we understand that every little thing we do is magic, and it is, and it ripples out into eternity, it ripples out into our lives, and it comes back, don't know when, but it does, it ripples out and comes back, if we embrace the emotional intelligence that is deep within all of us and we put that into everything we do, things start flowing in a much easier way. Hello, welcome back. We are continuing our dive through astrology, taking a look at insight, symbolism, psychological profiling, the storylines of each of the degrees of the zodiac. Today we are on Leo Aquarius 27. Without further ado, let's get into Leo 27. Daybreak, the luminescence of dawn in the eastern sky, a beaded curtain. An author's original intent is restored. Waking at dawn, a woman realizes her fever has broken. A man draws a picture on the surface of a lake. The stone here is citrine, and both stones will be in the description if you'd like to take a closer look. Citrine gives us confidence, boosts our self-esteem. It is used for manifesting prosperity. It strengthens us. It encourages joy. It also instills a positive attitude. It reduces anxiety, fear, depression. It supports our urinary tract. It increases our creativity. And it gives us a flexibility and an openness to new experiences. One of the main messages of this degree is to greet each day anew. Forget yesterday, the woman who wakes at dawn and realizes her fever is broken. If we constantly carry forward depression, worry, anger about the past, worry about the future, we are never here. And here is where the power is. So, waking up each day anew, dancing with whatever comes my way, goes a long way with this degree. Finding new opportunities through embracing it with positive attitude goes a very long way here. The beaded curtain is interesting because it tells us that the delineation between different realms, different realities, is flimsier than we know. Like on an airplane, the difference between business class and first class, it's just a curtain. <laughs> if there's a seat that's open in first class and you just get a little bit lucky, you're back there hobnobbing and enjoying your ride in a much better way. It's, it's letting us know that the, the veil is thin. The veil is thin here. We can walk through it. What stops us is fear. So not being fearful of whatever comes our way opens up opportunities. If we understand that every little thing we do is magic, and it is, and it ripples out into eternity, it ripples out into our lives, and it comes back, don't know when, but it does. It ripples out and comes back. If we embrace the emotional intelligence that is deep within all of us and we put that into everything we do, things start flowing in a much easier way. So not having hope, that means an expectation of what's going to come of this and being open, having a positive attitude and embracing allowing whatever wants to bubble up from inside of us, giving voice to our emotions. And the more that we do that, the more we realize the things that we do follow us. They keep coming all around like a perfume that you can't figure out where did that come from. It's karma coming back around. It's cycles of life coming back around. It heals us if we allow our intellect to get in touch with our emotions we find easier and easier ways to heal ourselves the man painting on the water it seems fruitless but it's an exercise in in how reality is if we hang on to things it's like trying to hang on to water <laughs> you put your hand in there it's it's you can't hang on to it it's going to dribble out 
It's going to do what it wants. So if we embrace the emotions and love, we see love in everything that we do. Is this a loving act? Is this making me happy? Everything that we do comes back with love and with happiness. Meeting each day anew, even when we have the most victorious day ever, we're thankful for it, but then when we go to bed, we put it away the next day brand new. Let's take a look at Aquarius 27. An ancient pottery bowl filled with fresh violets. Love steadies a man's irregular heartbeat. Blank paper waiting to receive ideas. A man laying stones for a path. During a tea ceremony, a man briskly mixing tea with a whisk. The stone here is lavender sapphire. It brings spiritual clarity and insight. It opens the crown chakra. It inspires spiritual breakthroughs. It boosts our psychic skills. It helps in meditation as a bridge, opening the crown for the kundalini energy stream to flow through. And it shields our auric field. The ancient pottery bowl filled with fresh violets. That is embracing the old with the new. An old piece of pottery. It's beautiful. It's well cared for. It's been through eons of situations. People have touched it, admired it. Old, meeting the new. And the violets got my attention today. So let's do a quick rundown of the symbolism of violets. Violets equal modesty, humility, faith, mystical awareness womanhood, innocence. Bunches used to be given as wedding gifts to newlyweds. Talks about self-governing, spiritual passion, profound abundance. So we're embracing spiritual newness with the ancient. We are that. We are that. One meditation easily could be seeing yourself as the ancient pottery bowl and our mind, our crown of violets. That would be pretty cool to meditate on that thought. The freshness with the old, new with the old. We're embracing dancing with each situation anew. The blank paper waiting to receive ideas. So that's a repeat from Leo. Looking at every situation, is this something that is done in a loving way or not? And that helps heal our heart and whoever else has to deal with whatever it is that we make. So this is making things with care, the tea ceremony, taking care and love and attention, feeling it at an emotional level, everything that we do, whether it's making tea or it's building a stone path that is going to be meant for people to walk on for years and years and years doing things with care so that they stand the test of time and that they inspire others to do the same. Showing the way, even when it's difficult. Everything that comes to us, we synthesize it. We take it in like it's brand new, like that fresh bunch of violets. Take in the spiritual essence of it and we imbue it in whatever we do and everything is more vibrant, more alive. Making dinner is not the old humdrum. The food tastes better. The tea tastes better. Everything tastes better when we put our emotional focus into it. When there are difficult situations, if we stop and center ourselves and say, what's really trying to come out you focus on whatever it is that's getting your attention with love and whatever disharmonies you're dealing with, we're dealing with, I'm dealing with, become easier to deal with. Harmony is restored quicker. So this is embracing change, seeing it as a constant, and flowing. That if we embrace the fact that hanging on causes suffering, being angry with change causes suffering, then we allow ourselves to relax and flow in the moment. And everything is easier. We're taking 
traditional skills but combining it in an artistic way so whatever you do you do it with an artistic flow whether you are making something with metal that's for a car it can be beautiful it can be solidly built and beautiful this is taking making things and bringing it to a mastery level subtle adjustments can be made meaning from within emotionally adjusting by changing the focus of something to create harmony there's an acute awareness of disharmony so that we can bring harmony sometimes people are aware of this those who are doing this and those who are receiving it subtle or overt there's an ability to make subtle adjustments that create harmony respecting feelings having a delicate approach to what our feelings are trying to tell us what are our emotions telling us and embracing them with love allows whatever it is that needs to come out in the moment to have its voice we hear it we flow easier by noticing subtle things like a cloud that looks like a rabbit okay rabbits are on my plate you pay attention to that and then the next wisp of cloud or ripple in the water comes along and you just take each step delicately it brings us through to the next embracing flow embracing change so that's what I've got for you today thanks so very much for being here I appreciate each and every one of you if these symbols are saying something specific to you please leave a comment we all can learn from it if you've had a dream about these if these are strong in your chart and you'd like to give us some insight please leave a comment give me a like if you're enjoying these subscribe for more psychology of astrology and take care till next time